Welcome to Genetic Life Hacks. This is a quick tutorial on how to find your genetic information if you're reading one of our articles. Things you need to do first, one, either sign in to your 23andMe account or locate your ancestry DNA data. Once those are completed, you can get started. Now let's find your data. We are currently on Genetic Life Hacks homepage. And from here, you can select any topic from our drop down menu at the top or from anywhere down below on the bottom of the page. So for today's tutorial, I'm going to select the immune system and inflammation from the drop down menu. And it's going to take us to that page where we have listed all of the articles for that topic. We're going to scroll through this immune system and inflammation topics page to come to an article to use for today's tutorial. And as I scroll, I think I'm going to stop and select vitamin D, genes, and your immune system. So I click on that article and now I'm taken to its page. Here you can read all the important information about vitamin D. And as you scroll through the article, you'll get to the section for the genetic variants. So how are you going to find what your genetic variants are? So this is why prior to moving through this tutorial, you needed to either A, sign in to 23andMe, or B, locate your ancestry DNA data. For those of you with ancestry DNA data, you are going to need to find this identifier or this RSID number in your text file from ancestry DNA. And from there, you're going to be able to see your genotype for that specific number, make note of it, and then compare it to our information here. For those of you that have signed into your 23andMe account, you're just going to click on this hyperlink and it will take you directly to your raw data page on 23andMe. And you'll be able to note that this is that same RSID number. Here we have it again. And then you can look at your genotype. Note it. And then you too need to come back and compare it with our information. Now, all of our articles have these RSID numbers. And if they are with 23andMe, they will include a hyperlink. And if it is included in the Ancestry DNA data, we will include it here. So I hope this little tutorial helped you better understand how to get access to your genotypes so you can use them on our articles. And I hope you're going to be able to better optimize your health by understanding your genetic information.